Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. So in a previous video, we began looking at changers. As we start to get more in depth with macros within Harlow, we understand that macros create things. They have certain types of output. We previously saw when we looked at the button macro that the button macro always works with links or macros that produce links. And this led us into a conversation of looking at the ways in which changers, a kind of macro output, can be used in powerful ways within Harlow. We previously saw how we can use text style, text color, and text size, and chain them all together, plussing them together as part of setting a variable. The very last example we looked at when we looked at text style, text size, and text color was how we can combine them all. So in this example, let's redo that and see just how powerful these can be. So this passage begins with two different temporary variables, one called dialogue and one called death. Notice this used text style italic, text color white, text style tall, text color gray. Remember, as I introduced text style, there's lots of different things to go look at. The Harlow documentation is the best resource for that. So we're changing the style and we're changing the color. Now notice I'm doing something that I just barely mentioned in a previous video introducing changers, that I'm using a variable with a hook. Because all of these things, this result right here, results in a macro or a macro value, we can use it within a variable and because it's just another value, apply that value to various hooks. Put another way, if we want to style a whole bunch of different dialogue, all we need to do is create in temporary or story variables the styles we want, or put another way, the changers we want, store them all, and then just apply them to hooks that contain the text that we need to create the effect we want. So in this example, I'm using just two different temporary variables containing all of the style information I want for the text, and then every time I want to use it, I am placing them within hooks that contain that text in which those changers will all be applied. So let's look at this in practice, and then I'll return back to it. So build and play. Notice that when each character speaks, or in particular when death speaks, as is from the selection, that it looks very different. It looks noticeably visually different because it's using tall and gray, and the other ones are using italic and white. And I could have also changed for every time the dialogue changed back and forth, but notice it's not that terribly hard. So as we're looking at changers, where they really start to come into play is their ability to be put together with other changers, and the result being a changer, something that changes output in some way. So we're text style, text color, and text size really come into usefulness as we start thinking about macros and using macros with other macros. It's how we can combine them all or combine them in different combinations, assign them to the value of a variable, and then use that value with other hooks in the same passage or future passages in the same way, creating a complicated effect based on the simple use of multiple macro values, the result of those macros with links or changers or more as we'll get to in future videos. At least for this video though, we can start to see how we can define these things in two or three lines, one or two lines, exactly what we need, set everything up as a style, save it as a value, and then once we have it, just reapply it to hooks as needed. We define it in one place and then use it multiple times. Define once, use many. An incredibly powerful technique, although a somewhat simple example of it, of how we can start to really use our knowledge for how macros work within Harlow 3.3 to start to combine them together. Again, building across videos as we're building in complexity using macros, but keeping in mind what kind of thing the macro does. Does it produce a link? Does it produce a changer? Does it produce other things we'll look at in future videos? Using all of this knowledge, making more complicated examples, all relying on fundamental concepts that I've covered within this series on Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.